Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is just a quick leveling video slash tips and tricks video that I decided to make for you guys. Um, I've been playing Fire Emblem Heroes for quite a few weeks now. I think... I, I don't remember. I think it's only been two weeks. It's not really all that long. But um, I've been playing since like the, the second day that the game has been released. Um, currently, right now, I'm 100% free to play. I haven't spent any money yet. Yet, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm not too sure if I should do it. Um, but yeah, I think I think in this game you can't really like even if you use your orbs to refill your energy, it's not really worth it in terms of efficiency. But this is not a power leveling video. This is not a like a how to you know like rush from like get a new unit to one to one to forty like super fast. I think there's quite a few of those videos out already. Um, but this is a how to maximize your efficiency in the best possible way video. I think that's it's definitely really really good because um, for people that are free to play, stamina is really really limited. And you want to squeeze out like you want to make sure you get the most out of it um, whenever possible. I really one thing I really really like about Fire Emblem Heroes is the the stamina system is really limited and you can't really like it's not a, about a game where you it doesn't matter how hard you grind unless you're like you know spending a lot of money and literally using orbs to refill um then you know you probably already have a bunch of level 40s actually you probably d don't need to even do that you could probably just uh no, you still you still have to grind. Like even if you summon a whole bunch of Nat fives, you still have to grind them all the way up to level 40, anyways. So I guess this is still somewhat useful. But this is more mostly about um, how to maximize the most, like your stamina in the most efficient way. So the best way to actually level is to level multiple teams at the same time. You don't want to just level one team. The reason for this is because the training tower where you will be doing most of your leveling, um, the the level and the units that spawn are very very limited. Um, so if you if you just if you were to only level one team, the the maps that you could choose is going to be very very limited. So for example, if I was to just level this team, this team is from level 32 to level 30, so average around level 31. Um, the maps that that this team would be able to farm is only probably in in this case is probably only going to be the sixth stage because um, their levels are around level 29 so this is actually lower than the efficiency like the the efficient level that you want to you want to farm at um, the most efficient way place that you want to farm is maybe levels that are like units that are around two levels up and um, sometimes you probably won't even be able to beat those units and it depends on the types of units that spawn that are that are able to spawn so um, if I was to go into this stage like there's a very very high chance that I'll be I'll, I will probably lose um, I mean, I do have Kane and and my Merrick here. That like Merrick's already level 32, but Kane's only level 31. So th these these units are three levels higher. Um, Kane will probably do very well against the, the two Axe users, but I don't have anything to really deal with the the casters like on on this team. So there's a very high chance that this team would fail. You want to make sure that you play it really really safe, like because if you lose, it's basically eight stamina down the drain. Like you get nothing out of it. Um, so it's better to play safe than it is to take a risk, but um, there are, are some times where you can fight higher level teams, and that's when you're sure that you're you're definitely 100% able to to win against the the enemy team. So over here, I have my second team. Um, this team, there's a, a unit that's that's like repeated with my first team. That's my healer because I don't really have a lot of healers, and healers level a lot slower than everybody else. If you're not killing people with healers. Like it, sometimes you can snipe the last hit with your healers, and um, and they can get some levels and catch up to the other units. But if they're just healing, their their um, XP gain in most cases aren't as high as the other units. So this is my second team. Um, I don't have that many healers, so I basically used her here as well. And this um, and originally she wasn't part of this team. She was ba she I leveled this team from level one. All four of these units from level one all the way up to level thirty um, together. And this team, I leveled these three units together with my Sarah, which was the original healer on this team. But she was also originally not part of this team. Um, she's kind of a unit that I leveled like along with other a lot of other teams. So she's already at level 40. Um, so I don't really need to get any XP on her. So I decided to put Clarine in here. And she's around the same level, so it's kind of kind of okay. Um, this is my third team. Um, these two units originally weren't 
part of this team. The the units that were originally on this team, I think, was my my um I think my Robin was part of this team, and and my my Sarah was part of this team, like a team that I leveled from level one, um, all the way up. It was, but those two are already at level forty, so I didn't I decided to remove them from this team. And the the reason why the, these two units actually work on this team, although there's a very very big le level gap, is because um, they're both support units. So I don't really need them to do anything besides to use their support skills on my my other two units. So this team is actually very limited. There's a they have very limited options of what what um, they can fight against. So I, I usually have to be very very careful with this team. So the reason why I want to want to level all three teams together um, is because I have more choices. I have more maps that I'm able to choose from when I when I decide to do this. So um, if I I usually go down the list. I usually look look at um, there's there's a few things that you want to you want to um, you want to make sure before you select a stage and go in. So um, the first thing is you have to make sure you're a hundred percent able to beat that stage. Like if you're iffy about it, don't do it because you if you lose, it's basically eight stamina, nine stamina down the drain. You get absolutely nothing. Um, it's better to play safe. Like it's always usually always better to play safe. Um, so in this case, um, that, that's the number one thing is to play safe. The number two is to look at the overall level of the units. So um, there's two reasons to look at the level of the units. One, like some of the some of you, you might think this is really really obvious, but um, the units obviously the the best place for you to farm is to farm against units that are around two levels higher. Like if you can farm, if you can, but you have to absolutely be able to beat them so there's like a standard uh, there's a there's a SOP basically so number one you have to make sure you can beat them uh, number two then they have to be the right level like the optimal level for you to, to, to kill them at and then um, number three is just the the types of units that that they are so I think some of those are, are kind of mixed together so um, if I was to if I was to choose a stage right now, um, the the best stage for, for me would choose. I would go down the list. I would look at my first team. I would be like, okay, so this this is two two lance users, one ninja, and then one um, one one mage, one red mage. So um, these three are very very easy to deal with. I think for for most of my just my team in general. Um, but I I don't really have anything that can deal with this mage. Although I could probably tank tank it with um, with Gwen since her resistance isn't all that low like her defense is a lot higher than resistance but her resistance isn't that low and I could um, if my position was right I could use Saizo although he has pretty low resistance um, I might be able to get the first jump on that mage and then and then kill him really fast so this is actually a pretty good stage for me to select um, but then I look at my other teams so if I was to use this team the best the optimal stage for me to choose would be this one because um, there's a pretty high chance of me beating it. Like, like, I'm not sure if it's a hundred percent. Because, like, I think I don't think any of it, of it is a hundred percent. But I have like a ninety percent chance that I will be able to beat this um, without anyone dying. And then you, you know, obviously you can't have people die because then you you lose XP as well. Um, and then this this team, um, if I was to choose a stage, then I I probably would struggle against this stage. Actually, I might struggle. I'm not. Wait, I'm not too sure. Actually, I probably won't struggle because um, because George has George has well, actually George's resistance isn't all that high, but he does have um, he does have pretty high attack, and also I have a healer and a, a dancer. So there, even if I go in on the offensive, um, if I if he's ever in any threat, I can just dance and then move him backwards or or heal him or anything like that. So it, um, there's the risk of anyone dying here isn't isn't too high. And then I do have a, 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 a sword unit against two axe units. I have another axe unit. I don't have any lance units, um, but I think I will be able to deal with this stage pretty, pretty easy. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. And then Clarine also has pretty high resistance, so I can also use her to tank some of the mages' damage and bait them in and kill them with George. Um, so the me, the chance of me beating this team with this team is actually higher than than the chance of me beating this. The, the eighth stage with this team, so um, I would probably choose this stage, like this stage with this team, um, over over this stage. 
So then I look at this one. Um, this is like already level 32. This is already outside my optimal main range, so I probably would not be going in with this team. So the optimal choice for, for me to choose would be to choose this level and, and go in and fight. Um, there's another another trick that I can also show you guys. So if there's no no stages where if everything was is really really bad, like none of the 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 mon none of the stages are in optimal XP range, what you could actually do is you can use your arena arena um, arena swords basically, and you can go in and do an arena fight. If you do an arena fight, the the list actually refreshes. Um, so. The, the, that's that's also another really good reason to level more teams at the same time. Um, if you also like if you run out of arena swords and you have like a fourth team, maybe there are like level one units that you're leveling. You could actually go in and start doing these level one stages, and they only cost one stamina, so you just basically do it. You still get some levels on on your level one units that you're eventually gonna raise, and it refreshes the list, and then you can you can choose another stage again. So in this case, um, this stage isn't too bad for this team, so I'm just going to go in with this team and do it. So um, let me think about this. This is... I can bait him in to, to come into this slot. And then I can move George in, into here. Oh wait, no, George can't move there. Um, let me think about this. Yeah, he can attack this this slot, so I can bait him in. He has 10 defense, 25 resistance, um, and he has 44 attack. My clearing has 26 resist, so I should be able to tank one hit from it. And then what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move um, Olivia here, move George here for the attack buff, and then I'll just have Bart retreat because there's no reason for him to be so far up forward. So he's gonna come in. Oh fuck! Shit! I'm in the wrong wrong slot. Alright, I, I fucked that up. Alright, I'm actually retarded. I'm sorry. Um, you guys probably don't believe me anymore. Believe any anything I say anymore. Hmm, I can one shot this guy. I can one shot one shot him and then and then dance and retreat. Man, why, do, why the fuck do I have this shit on? Okay, that was a that was a mistake on my part. I played that really badly. You, pro you guys probably don't believe anything I say anymore. God damn it. I could just heal Clarine, heal George twice. I think that's probably the best choice for me. Actually, wait. Yeah, I need to one-shot this guy. I can push him out of harm's way. And then do this. Alright, perfect. I don't think Camilla can one-shot me. That bard's pretty damn strong. Alright, I played that really, really badly, but I still beat beat this stage. Um, I probably didn't need to show any of my fights, but I just wanted to, the list to refresh so I can show you guys another... Um, how I go through the thought pre process of, of choosing another stage right after. He's gonna move up. Doubt he can beat my bard. Um, another thing while you're in battle is to, if is if you can, to to make sure everyone's around the same level. So for for this team right now, um, I don't really care about Clarine's level because her she's not art she's not part of this team. I don't really need to level her here, and she's part of three teams, and she's a healer of three teams. So it doesn't um, her level is definitely going to be able to stay within level range of a lot of my other units. But I'm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use my Olivia to snipe the kill on this guy. And what this does is it will increase her level probably to 34, which means she'll be able to catch up to Bart. Um, George is already like way over leveled. He's he's already 35, so 
Um, I don't think he needs any more XP. So I'm going to snipe the kill with Olivia. And she didn't actually level that much, but she did get a more bonus XP. Um, so yeah, and then... So I basically... That was... It went... I didn't do everything perfectly, but it... Um, it ended perfectly. Alright, so that's, that's pretty much it. So we go into the next... Um, next selecting process. So sometimes you get really bad RNG, sometimes on on some of these stages, and their levels are too high. You Normally you don't want to fight the stages with three units because you, you don't get that much XP. Um, ideally you want to fight the stages with five units, but it's also very dangerous because the on the stages with five units there's a really high chance that um, some of your units can die. So I normally also don't do the stages with five units as well. Um, so if I go, if, if I was to go through the level selecting process again, um, I probably can't beat this team with this. With this, so these three are kind of, you know, out the window. Um, for level 31, I pre pretty much have to choose the Optimal team. If I use this team, I can definitely beat it, but it's already way out of my Optimal XP range. So what's left is basically this team, which is still kind of in, it's, it's still in um, the around the level range of m most of my units. Um, so it's one Lance user. I can pretty much take care of the Lance user with Merrick um, pretty easy. The Axe user, Kane should have no problem. Um, he should have no problem tanking the bow guy as well. And then it's just a healer, so this is very, very low threat. Usually teams with healers, you want to choose them because um, most of the time the healers, healers equals less threat, means meaning less chance of your units actually dying. So I, I can go in and I can do this stage. I don't know if if uh, this video is like that helpful helpful for you guys, but I think it's it's definitely pretty good. Um, I don't think a lot of people explain explain this process that much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my cane. I'm pretty sure that in the on this map they don't move unless you move. So unless you move into their attack range. So in order for the for me to make sure they start attacking me, um, I'm gonna actually move. I'm move Nino here, and I'm going to end my turn. I don't think they move up at all. Yeah, see, they, they don't do anything unless you move into their attack range. So since this guy is mostly physical, he has low resistance, I'm going to move my Merrick into this slot, and I'm going to try to kill him with a counter attack. Um, and then once I do this, he's going to start... Um, he's going to start... These units are going to start attacking. This guy's probably going to move forward, and then I'll be able to um, finish him off with Kane. So I'll probably just move my clearing to the slot. And then Nino is going to stay in the slot to provide the attack buff for these two units. Hmm, he didn't actually, he actually moved up and healed. Very interesting. See if I can one shot him. Push him off. Alright. I'll move. Him. I didn't. I didn't actually know that he could heal. I should, probably could could have looked at his his skill set as well. That was actually very uh, unexpected. I'll just pull him over. These two both get the attack buff next turn. And then yeah, Kane's only level 31, so I definitely want him to get most of the XP. Actually, wait. Nino's only level 30, so I might as well finish him off with Nino to. To snipe and get that bonus XP. She has 25 res, very low defense. Um, it's got assault, so it doesn't have any effect, so no one's really in any danger. I'm just gonna move Merrick here so I can move my my um, clearing here and heal for some bonus XP as well, just to maximize the amount of XP gain. Yeah, that was, that was actually quite dangerous. Let's see, should I should I just one shot her? That was just one shot her, just to be safe. Always play it safe. Don't 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 take take risks. Like don't don't try to like if you're a hundred percent sure that um you can you can snipe the kill with the unit that you want to level, then then do it. But if you're like unsure, like you know, she might be doing too much damage, or some crazy shit could happen, then um. Then don't take risks. Never take risks.
I'm gonna pull her back. Stand here. Right, see if I can one-shot him. All right, since I can one-shot him, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him up. I'm gonna heal Kane for that um, for that little bit of bonus XP that I can get, and then just one-shot him. I love my Nino. Yeah, that's basically it. That's just the the basics of um, going through the thought process of selecting a team. I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna go through the thought process again of selecting this team, but I'm not gonna do the actual fight. All right, um, it will actually be too long. So these three stages are a lot of times they they do get to level 40. So once you get to around this level, it's gonna be a little bit harder. Um, sometimes you have to try to do the these stages that are out, outside of your your optimal range. Like maybe if it rolls like 34, then I can go in and do it. Um, or if these stages roll like 37 or 30, 38, 38, then I can go in and try to do it. Um, only if they're they're um, in favor of these two units. So I can't choose any of these three stages. So this this team is basically out the out, out of the picture. Um, what you can do is you can so yeah you can basically yeah it's basically this team or or this team. So these two are kind of around the same level now, uh, which is kind of a little bit bad for me, but this, this team is still slightly higher level. So I can probably do stages around, all the way up to around level 36 as, or so with this team. Um, but this team, I think the, the maximum safe range for me to do is like level 34. So this is, this over here is within the safe range of this team. Um, it's a little bit outside the optimal range of this team, but what I can do is actually use this to buy Olivia a bit. Um, and let me think. So if I use this, it's, it's actually a lot safer. But if I, yeah, since this is out out of optimal range, I would probably go in with this team um, into into the seventh stage, and I should probably be able to beat it because since this is a red sword user, it's, it's still hard for him to catch up to my two mages. Um, I do have a healer, so I can pretty much take care of the sword user with my cane. And the, the archers are pretty much no match for Merrick, um, especially with the healer supporting him. Same, same, same thing with the ninja. And then I can just, ha just have my Nino. Like, even if my, my Merrick can't one-shot him, um, I just need to get him into a, a position where I can hit him with Merrick and then finish him off with Nino afterwards. So, yeah, I would choose this stage with this team. That's pretty much it. Um, that's, that's basically how to, how to level your units with the most, um, in the most efficient way possible. Um, and there's just don't forget the trick with the arena duels as well. If you do an arena duel, then you also get a reset. You you get a reset on your tower as well. If you if you do the story maps as well, you get, also get a reset. So um, if you go into any map, you you can get a reset. If you have no arena duels, if you have absolutely nothing to use, what you could do is start is make a level start making a level one team, uh, a new team that you want to level, and then start leveling them from level one. And trying to, and then you can use them to reset every single time that um, the stages aren't aren't in your favor. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.